look at yesterday was world postal day i wish there was enough time for me to talk about memories how we used to write letters how we used to send our letters via the postal services but all of this is now history we no longer do that i don't know if we still do that but i know growing up was fun writing letters and all of that we are going to be taking a look at a critical uh, a, a critical look at postal services in nigeria and right here in the studio with me I have the FCT postal manager to Jani Bala. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Good morning, ma. So, postal services, how has it been? Just like you have said, it has been all through. We have our ups and downs, but today we are, we are here, we are, and we are still working stronger than ever before. You know, like I said, growing up was fun because I remember when in secondary school how we used to wait for letters to come and then we now write letters to reply. Now the internet taking over, people are texting, sending emails. So how do you cope with all of this? Yes, um, in, uh, in real fact, that aspect of um, letter writing, which you are, we are used to when we're growing up, has been taken over by the, this uh, destructive uh, technology. I call it destructive because uh, we were used to physical data writing, but now we are now into e-writing, and uh, people are now using uh, electronics in communication. So, uh, but that is just a minutest aspect of uh, the postal service. Okay. We have array of other services. Okay. Share with yeah. Nigerians. Yes. Letter writing is just one minutest aspect of it. Apart from letter writing, we have what we call we are into uh, uh, transmission of uh, packages, small packets, medium packets, large packets, and these packages are being transmitted through the post. Apart from that, we have what we call register letters. We have express letters. Mm -hmm. We have courier service, which we call a EMS speed post. We have a logistics. We are into financial services. We are, we are into other services like um, providing a postcode system to Nigeria. So these are varieties of uh, services we offer in, uh, in the postal service. But many people are not aware. Okay, you mentioned financial services. Yes. So, will you like to explain further? What does that mean? Yes. Um, you, will, you will know that uh, Nigerian uh, have a rural uh, economy. Most rural communities are not uh, covered by banks. Most of the banks are concentrated in the cities and the towns. But on bank areas, so that's where the uh, Nigerian Postal Service uh, can render what we call financial inclusion. So we are there, we are collaborating with the Central Bank to offer that to Nigerians. Okay, you have not started yet. We have started, we have started in the past, but at the point we stopped. But the new uh, administration, the right on Sunday, the depot, you know. And we are right there. So by this, uh, we roll out the uh, function, and the, the financial services will be all over, even across uh, uh, Nigeria to other countries. You know, I do know that in the past, if you want to send money yeah. to somebody, you can just put it in an envelope yeah. or wrap it in the letter, yeah. then uh, put it in the envelope, and you go to the post office and post it. Is it going to be like that? Or somebody is going to, like, if I want to send money mm -hmm. to my king mm -hmm. in the village, mm -hmm. is it that somebody will go deliver it? Or is it going to be like no, no, no. before? No, it's the ones you are used to in the past. We used to we used to call it postal order or money order. We yes, yes, yes. Office, we buy postal order, mm -hmm. or money order in exchange for your real currency. And when it gets to the other end where the receiver is, it's going to, to the post office and then the post office will collect the post and give him cash. That was in the past. But the current one 
is going to be done through electronic means. Once you go to the post office, you want to send money to your village, you go to the nearest post office, at the post office counter, you any amount you want to send, you you give them to the counter officers and the counter officers will transmit once you have filled the necessary form and the document, it will be transmitted to that point and you go to the post office there to collect. It can even be changed, transferred from your to your account or to the account of that person in the village. So from what you have explained, account. yeah. So from what you've explained, yes. there seems not to be any vacuum. Yes. The postal Nigeria Postal Service is still as strong as Ever it before. used to be. Exactly. So yes. In fact, rather than the technology, the new technology slowing the pace of the post, is rather increasing the pace of the post. The technology is also to communicate to the receiver. Once, like we were giving ourselves more, more packets, mm. if you have uh, something to send to somebody in the village or anywhere. Exactly, okay, that's small uh, package. Yes, mm. you communicate to the person that I'm going to send some uh, through the post to you. The person could be in Obasi or it could be in Nigeria. And that technology you have communicated to him instantly. So the next thing, the physical item now will, will be arrive through us. And you can even tell him that the post has told you that this thing will be delivered in the next two days. So we'll be expecting it. You can even track the item online using the same uh, technology to track the item where it is. For instance, if you send through a Abuja office, you can track the item as it moves from Abuja to that place. If it has moved from Abuja, for instance, if you are sending it to Lagos, it will, be, it will tell you it has left Abuja office on its way to Lagos. And it they will tell you in the next two hours, in the next or one day, the item will be in Lagos. And once it arrives in Lagos, you will see it real time, online. They're just like, by yourself. okay, like Korea. Like Korea service. Okay, so do we list the PO box the, yeah, that PO we box, used to? Yeah, PO box is, um, is a delivery means of uh, uh, service. If you have a post office box, what you do, what, once you have an item sent to you from anywhere in the world, you put that your PO box number, it will be delivered inside that your post office box. So the next thing, if the person indicates your phone number, because you might not know that this item has landed. We will phone you that this item has already, you have an item in your post office box, so, 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 so number. Come and collect. And if you, if you Another thing I'm interested in is the, the stamps. Are they still in existence? Ah, <laughs> it's our number one product. <laughs> We are using stamps for various I remember things, collecting them years yes. back. We used to collect stamp, them and keep. Yeah, stamp are in different categories. We have a definitive stamps, which we use it for conventional services, posting letters. If you, you want to post a letter or a register item, you buy stamp to affix, depending on the item. So that stamp will be used as a prepaid service. And we have what we call commemorative stamp. That is the stamp we use to continue, I mean, to commemorate an anniversary. For instance, when Nigeria was 63, we used, we have, there was a stamp that was issued. That commemorative stamp will be used within six months. So, and some people that are into stamp business, collecting stamp for history. So they keep it so that at every point in time, they can make a reference to it. We call those people. And that's stamp, stamp collectors. collectors. Or philatelists. Mm. So what will you tell, you call them the Gen Zs, as in the younger generation who seem not to really uh, know much about uh, postal service, what will you tell them to captivate them, to make them be interested in using the postal services? Yes, I will advise...